You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for mountain laurel, call me a latifolia. Mountain laurel is an evergreen shrub with a habitat range in a broad band centered along the length of the Appalachian Mountains in the eastern United States. During mid-spring, it can be covered in light pink blooms. During winter months, the mass of red-brown trunks and gray-brown branches, along with its green leaves, provide contrast on a snowy day. As winter departs, mountain laurel sports fresh growth of both leaves and flowers. Let's take a close look at each of these two plant parts. Here are several spikes of flower buds, which were produced within leaf axles the previous fall season. The flower spike extends from the tips of branches. In this very beginning stage, the flower buds look more like tiny leaves closely folded against the stalk. The flower spikes start out closely grouped together. As they grow larger and taller, the new growth becomes distinguishable as separate flower spikes. The developing inflorescence shows its future arrangement of the flowers. The single stalk splits into a number of separate stalks with flower buds alternating along them. This close view of a single portion of the inflorescence shows the flower buds clustered along the new flower stalk. The flower buds may look like small white balls, or they may have more color to them. Each spherical shape becomes marked with five lines, creating a five-pointed star shape. The green sepals are pushed apart at these five dividing lines as the growing flower expands. These mountain laurel inflorescences are at the midway stages of flower budding. We can see green sepals topped with white petals. The white portion becomes a light pink color. And it develops a ridged appearance. Each flower has 10 ridges. The flower and its peduncle are covered with tiny and very sticky hairs. Notice the overall shape of the flower. Just prior to blooming, it has a ridged cap topping a cylinder which contains the ovary, the relatively smaller sepals, and a peduncle. Again, the flower cap, hidden ovary, sepals, and peduncle. And now the flowers begin to fully bloom. First one, and another, then more flowers in the inflorescence. And more flowers. until the mountain laurel is nearly covered in flowers. Let's return to close-up views of the flowers in order to study the flower more carefully. When the three-quarter inch wide flower opens, the style protrudes first. This newly opened flower shows the pink stigma atop a not quite visible white style along with 10 stamens. The anther at the top of the stamen's filament is tucked into a pocket of the flower. On the exterior of the flower, these pockets are the ridges we saw before. The flower's corolla has five sides, or lobes, with a red fringe painted in a star shape near its center, drawing our eyes to the green in the middle of the flower. This green is the top of the ovary, which we previously noted as being hidden within the base of the flower. One by one, the red-tipped stamens are released from their pockets when an insect touches them. If no pollinator stops by to trigger the release of the anthers with their pollen, then, as the plant ages, the anther filaments fling free 
and throw their pollen in a manner to hopefully reach the stigma which rises above them. The released stamens curl over and down toward the center of the flower. Near the end of this fertilization process, the stamens may straighten before they shrivel to brown. Now we're going to look at the second part of mountain laurel's new growth in the spring, the leaves. Just like the flower buds, new leaves grow from the tips of previous year's branches. The leaf bud opens up with its two outer scales separating to reveal the true leaves. There may be several leaf buds at the branch tip, or there may be only one leaf bud. The leaf stem grows upward from the opened leaf scales. New leaves grow alternately along this new stem. Sometimes a pair of leaves will grow opposite each other. Even these new leaves have sticky dots on them. Observe the leaf scales curled back at the base of the new stem. The new leaf stem rapidly lengthens to become this year's extension of the mountain laurel branch from previous years. The spring leaves are a lighter shade of green, more of a yellow green than the older darker green leaves from other years. As the weeks go by, the spring leaf color shifts to the glossy darker green summer color. Mountain laurel leaves have an elliptic shape with a pointed tip and smooth margins. The sides of the leaf tend to gently curl upward while the tip bends downward. The stiff glossy leaves have pinnate venation with one central vein running the length of the leaf. The underside of the leaf is much lighter than the top surface and is yellow green. The central vein is prominent and raised. The mountain laurel leaf with its short petiole can grow up to four inches long. After the new leaves reach maturity, their leaf bud scales turn brown and drop off. Older leaves frequently become spotted during the summer. This image shows both the top and bottom surfaces of the same spotted leaf. Leaves get spots, turn yellow, and drop to the ground throughout the summer, although the greatest leaf drop occurs during the fall. Leaves may drop while they are still yellow and turn brown after reaching the ground. On a cold winter day, the mountain laurel leaves begin to droop. If it becomes even colder, the leaves will curl up a bit more to conserve moisture. Returning to the spring flowers. After blooming, the flowers turn brown, starting with the edge of the flower. The flowers which were first to bloom are the first to die, even while other flowers have yet to open. The flower's star-shaped corolla dries up and drops away, revealing the green ovary with its long style. Each fertilized ovary retains its style and remains attached to the plant via its peduncle. If the ovary was not fertilized, the peduncle, ovary, and style drop from the plant. During the summer, the mountain laurel seed capsules slowly mature with seeds. Initially, the seed capsules are green, still sticky, and still with their thread-like styles. The styles shrivel. The seed capsules acquire a red tint. The mass of seed capsules at the tips of the mountain laurel branches look messy. Styles may hang on to the seed capsules well into the fall months, although some styles do drop off by then. By the time winter arrives, the five parted seed capsules have turned brown and split open to release their seeds. Let's look at mountain laurel's supporting structure. On the left is a stem from this year's spring growth. On the right is the stem from last year. Most of the leaves we can see here are last year's leaves. The current year's stem is green 
while the previous year's growth is reddish-brown. The older stem growth is brittle, gray, and has fine lines running its length. When the oldest leaves drop off, what remains are the relatively thin branches which twist and cross over each other in random patterns. This isolated mountain laurel's overall structure is easier to see when the surrounding vegetation has lost its leaves. The primary trunk of this typically 10-foot, but up to 20-foot tall shrub is frequently crooked. A large trunk will have multiple shoots from its base, which grows up to 6 inches thick. Notice the shredded bark with its reddish tint. The mountain laurel shrub is just as likely to have more than one trunk, since it can reproduce itself from roots and low branches which become buried in leaf litter. The gray branches attract various lichens. Newer shoots may arise on older branches. Since mountain laurel has most of its leaves at the tips of its branches and stems, the interior of the plant consists of dead-looking twisted branches. Walking through the woods which are filled with mountain laurel becomes a tripping and head-knocking challenge while attempting to navigate over masses of low-lying leafed branches and through stiff overlapping branches growing at chest and head height. The difficulty of walking through a mountain laurel thicket is offset by the beauty of the spring leaves and flowers. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Calmia latifolia, also known as mountain laurel. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of mountain laurel, for a blog post comparing mountain laurel with rose bay rhododendron, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.